Does fate have Donald Trump scheduled for assassination or re-election? Let's take a look at the transits around this upcoming eclipse and around election day to see if we can figure it out. When I first saw this chart of the June eclipse overlaid over Trump's birth chart, uh, the first thing thought that came to my mind is, wow, assassination. The thing that's really striking is that this eclipse is extremely close to Trump's natal eclipse. Trump is born in an eclipse, lunar eclipse, and this solar eclipse is really close to exactly where Trump's eclipse was. The other thing is that Trump's got a famously obvious Venus-Saturn combo in his 12th house. And during that eclipse, or just in this time in general, that's getting aspected by a debilitated Jupiter and a Saturn that's right on the border of its sign. And then furthermore, what really tipped it for me was, tipped it to thinking of an assass something like an assassination was Mars is exactly square to Trump's eclipse and very close to exactly square to the June eclipse, so I thought violence. But I reconsidered that interpretation, and here's why. As we all know, Trump is not a ruined person. He's a highly successful person. Maybe, maybe a lot of people wish he would become a ruined person, but the fact of the matter is that he's the president of the United States. So that eclipse that he's got in his chart produced the president of the United States. It didn't produce a, a crazy person or produce the crazy person who is the President of the United States. And to me, what should show this to the astrologer is that that eclipse is trying to his ascendant. And not only is it trying to his ascendant, it's also trying to his ninth lord, Mars, who's very important in this chart. And it also involves his first lord, because his ascendant is in Leo, so his first lord is the sun. So in, in other words, in short, this eclipse is very positively aligned to Trump's Ascendant, First Lord, and Ninth Lord. Now, the transiting eclipse this coming June is going to be in pretty much the same position. That means it's in pretty much the same configuration to Trump's Ascendant, First Lord, and Ninth Lord. So since his birth eclipse didn't bring him ruination, probably this eclipse is also not going to bring him ruination. So what I am predicting, though, for June is insanity, wild unpredictability, unrestrained violation of restrictions, Rahu, all the Rahu qualities. He is about to do stuff that nobody is going to even expect, that nobody is going to think he could get away with, that nobody is going to think is possible. He's going to defy every precedent, every norm, every expectation in the upcoming weeks leading up to this eclipse. Um, and about that Mars, the way that Mars is configured with the eclipse, that means the predominant flavor of what he's doing is martial. So we're talking military, militant, violent, macho, maverick, and uncooperative. Now, when I took a look at his election day transits, my eyes also bugged out. Because Election Day falls when the nodes are exactly returning to his natal node position. So that eclipse that he's got in his birth chart is activated extremely strongly on the Election Day itself and in the whole lead-up to the Election Day. And since those nodes in his birth chart are one of the key indicators of how powerful and unusual and weird he is, this transit to those nodes is going to empower that and bring that out. Also, as far as other things go in this particular transit, we see Mars is going to be in Aries, and Mars is a really important planet for Trump as it's directly on his ascendant in Leo. So it's in his favor to have Mars and Aries at that time, and that Mars and Aries gets to be just opposite to his natal Jupiter, which Dasha he's in right now. And also, Saturn is going to be strong in its own sign, dominating Jupiter and aspecting his own natal Saturn and Venus. So he's got very good transits 
very significant and good, strong transits on the election day, which is pretty much what happened in 2016. If we if we rewind to 2016, I remember in September or October, I did something unusual for me, which was make a prediction about non-natal astrology, because I don't often do non-natal astrology. I voiced a prediction that he's going to win the 2016 election, and the reason why is it seemed really, really obvious to me. The reasons why I could predict that he would win in 2016 was that he was in a Jupiter return at that time, and his Jupiter Dasha had just started. Furthermore, Mars was exalted at the time and was aspecting from Capricorn. He gets to aspect his ascendant in Leo because Mars has that wide aspect at the opposition. So it was, it was exalted and aspecting his ascendant and his Mars at the same time as he was in a Jupiter return, at the same time as he was in the beginning of his Jupiter Dasha. And Venus was in, Venus and Jupiter were both affecting his eclipse, natal eclipse. Uh, Jupiter was moving into its 100% trine aspect, and Venus was exactly conjoined with the eclipse points. So his transits were really great in 2016, but more than that, what I did in 2016 was compare the intensity of his transits on the election day to Hillary Clinton's. And there was a lack of anything really compelling happening in Hillary Clinton's chart, where there was a lot of really compelling stuff happening in Trump's chart. So I thought it was a no-brainer that this person... Trump, this is the day that Trump becomes president, and this is the day that Hillary Clinton doesn't do anything. We can't really do that so confidently right now because it's early in the presidential election, but we do pretty much know, or we could pretty much assume that Trump's opponent is going to be Joe Biden. And we do have Joe Biden's chart. Joe Biden's chart mostly relies on the greatness of his Jupiter. He's got an exalted Jupiter, which is exactly trying with 100% and Jupiter has 100% influence on its trine to all these planets that he's got clustered together. So everything in his chart really is running on the greatness of his Jupiter. And on the election day, that Jupiter is getting activated strongly, but it's getting activated strongly by a debilitated Jupiter and Saturn. So to my mind, if, if I'm going to bet money on who's going to win, I'm going to bet it on Donald Trump. So, my prediction is not that he's going to get assassinated, but that he's going to do wild stuff in June. Throw the world upside down, especially throw America upside down. And despite everybody's expectations or wishes or beliefs or wildest dreams, he's going to win again. And again, a very Rahu K2 way with nobody can figure out how it happened. So that's what it looks like, folks. Especially because of the debilitated Jupiter which is his Dasha Lord. I do believe he's going to win the election, but I think that his presidency is going to be really difficult. So what do you think about these charts? I would, I'd like to hear your thoughts on how to interpret these charts in the comments. Thanks very much. And don't forget to like the video. I don't know why you would dislike it, but you can dislike it if you hate it. And subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications. Make sure you do all that stuff because you have to do all that stuff. It's YouTube etiquette. Thanks.